Okay, guys. So first off, you probably saw my last video, but if not, uh, you guys got to get in here and fix this stuff because uh, anybody who comes in here has 100% access to all of your content right now. So you need, I don't know why your Wasabi OTO got turned off, but it did. And so because of that, anybody can see your content in here. So that's number one. Number two, uh, if you recall, so how we have it set up is this button should be going into place of where that uh, restricted content was. So that's what we had here before, where we had the button come flying in like this um, over the top of any restricted content. Now you see here where it is also restricted content. I put in some text which says members only content. Of course, you can change that. And then what you're going to have over here, because for again for you, when your page loads, this very top section is going to be restricted. And so when ClickFunnels loads, the very first uh, lesson is always the one that is open. So it basically fires off a click onto this very first lesson here. When it does that, it will automatically then pull this content into here. If you were to have it set up so that you did not see any of this dark color in the button here, which you can do, you can just take that right out. Uh, then what would happen is as somebody came along and they like, clicked on any one of the lessons here. Well, in fact, let me just show you. I can inspect this. I can come in. I can turn off this overlay. So now when I hover over it, that overlay is gone. See, we got that here. But now if I click on this, what's going to happen? You're going to see this content again. Now, if we do drip delay, I guess I got nothing else open that I could click on. But if I were to click on some other lesson and be able to see the lesson, the lesson would appear. But as I came back in and clicked on one of these again, it would put back in what I would basically is going to be your sales message right here. So that's what that is. So let me show you how this is set up. Again, we had the button from before. You guys, I think, already have that set up. So we got a button in here. And then also I made a new section down here. I just made it like a medium width section. And then I just dumped in some headlines, some text, whatever, just to, to have something to fill up the space. And then I gave it a data title name of upgrade section. Make sure you click on update after you build that. And so then again, what the code is going to say is when somebody clicks on one of these protected lessons or when the page loads and it automatically clicks on the very first lesson, it will put this content right here. So when your page loads, it's going to have, somebody's going to be on that first lesson, it's going to be restricted, and you're going to have your sales message right there. So now let's take a look at the code. And right now, I guess I do have it all turned on. So what we first do is we go in and we remove what the old text was and then we replace it with that button so in the navigation we come in here and whatever that old text said i you know something about the lesson and upgrade here or something it just completely removes that and replaces it with this button so that's what the first two lines of code do and then let me open this up a little bit then what we say here is go in and grab a hold of all of the lessons and let me see here. Yeah. So we grab a hold of all the lessons and we just replace the text part with members only content. So this is where you want to change it. What you want to show on each one of these lessons right here, you want to change this part right there to be that content. Okay. And then this part down here just says, when somebody clicks on one of the lesson links to take what that little, those two lines of content were that were right here on the page, take those two lines of content that are right there and replace it with our data title of upgrade section. So that's what tells it to put it in there. So we only got really five lines of code. So that's, that's really it. It's, um, it should work out pretty cool. But again, you guys got to get your Wasabi OTO set up right. If you're struggling with that, having problems, reach out to me on uh, Monday. Um, and well, even even tomorrow during the day, I may be available, but we do have an eight hour difference. But um, just, just reach out to me and I'll uh, jump on Zoom to make sure you guys got it set up right.